So, every time when I use this, I get a lot of questions afterwards. And this, um, this is what, what I use to sh shoot my stroke grenades with. Unfortunately, you know, this is always the first question. You cannot buy these anymore. They are no, they are, they are no, no longer made. Maybe second hand somewhere, or maybe in store who still have them somewhere. If you look really good, uh, maybe you can still find one. But it's really hard. I'm still not really figured out the perfect way to shoot smoke grenades because every everything I use will uh, wear down after a few times. And I mean by this, if you just take a smoke grenade, put it in there, it will not shoot out very far because there's a lot of room. Uh, next to the smoke grenade. So what I use is a uh, cap and that will seal the air behind it and that will push the smoke grenade out. But after time, uh, most of the time the cap will uh, break or um, the, 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 co the, 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 the cord will uh, go out, something like that. I get a malfunction in some way or another. Always with this so I figured out some different ways, but still not perfect. Uh, some will break sooner than others. Uh, sometimes I think I got it, and then it will feel really, really fast. So another lesson learned, but uh, still. So that that's still not perfect. But I can tell what I do, and maybe you got suggestions, and you can uh, leave them in the comments or uh, learn from my mistakes uh, with your own. Uh, grenade launcher or with your self-made grenade launcher you can make uh, I see some uh, people also use them make them out of uh, PVC uh, and that uh, stuff like that just with uh, home supply to uh, materials uh, where I use this for is to uh, use it on my uh, back at least I can store it on my back and when I use it I will take it out it's not really easy to take it out because if you leave it too high uh, everybody can shoot that when I'm behind cover. So I put it pretty low. So I need to really uh, and then take it out. And so it's not really quick changing or anything, but I can keep it on my back if I want to and um, still play afterwards with a pistol. It's kind of heavy to have it on one one shoulder. That's basically what you do with your on your tech vest. Because it's not too heavy, but at the same time, it's it's a way to have on there. And when you're running, you do notice it that that the side is heavier on your body than the other side. So that's that. And you uh, will need and uh, you get one a bigger bell shock for the, the front. Uh, I got one from uh, the Citadel where I got this one. This was the last one they have. I've tested it out one time I believe with the foam rockets, they normally will shoot. When you will shoot that one with the barrel sock on, the barrel sock will fly off. So in a sense it's not really that safe, just be careful with it. When it's loaded, consider it really loaded and don't think a barrel sock will hold it inside. This uh, push button thing, it will just slide and it will, will go. It's, uh, so it will just fly off. Uh, of course it will slow it down a bit, but uh, now it, ne it needs to be more heavy duty than that to uh, really keep this thing uh, uh, yeah, safe with a barrel sock. How it works, you got the safety right here. I mean now on safety you cannot use the trigger at all when it's not on safety. In a way the, the mechanism is uh, semi-automatic, but you don't, uh, you cannot really fire fast because you need to load it every time. But you put your air on here and just pull the trigger. That's all you need to do. The, the velocity you can adjust right here. The further you screw the, the screw in, the uh, more air it will push out. You got also a button right here. Then you can, it's a little bit hard on this side. But you can lift it up, put the rocket right here or here. If you put it here you got more force but for safety reasons the manual will say put it here. I don't use it like this. I use it like this for uh, cleaning or anything like that. I really use it like a muzzle loader. 
but be really careful with the safety. Put it on safety and um, be really mindful what you're doing because uh, it, it will fly. I will show the, the air tank I will use with it. Most MacFab players will know this air tank. You use this normally in stock. I don't use this one, I use the bigger one. Because with this one I can shoot uh, around 10 uh, smoke grenades in one go. I think afterwards it's getting uh, pretty empty. But with this I can at least uh, outlast the game. I usually take uh, the belt with me with smoke grenades. And then I can shoot those 10 and then it's enough. Because it's enough money to shoot uh, in one, uh, one game uh, in my uh, opinion. <laughs> and then it's time to really play paintball. Believe I don't really use this one anymore, but at first I made this one and uh, a stick with a foam uh, rocket from uh, Nerf that was uh, broken and I put a uh, microfiber around it and then uh, polished the barrel a bit and it still wouldn't hurt but uh, your, bell, uh, your microfiber will be really really dirty when you do this because the smoke grenades they will leave an um, on the coating uh, inside of uh, residue of smoke and it can be getting that bad at the, at the point that um, that you cannot shoot anymore because uh, this will get stuck in between those uh, that the smoke residue and and this cap I mean so that is not safe to use anymore because the air cannot go anywhere and uh, you don't want to do uh, crazy stuff Later, I used, uh, I made this one, this stick. At first, my smart idea was to use a barrel swap to push a cap inside, like this. Uh, you can imagine that barrel swap was not nice uh, of color afterwards. It was really dirty because of all the smoke uh, powder was getting inside of the barrel swap. So that was uh, a bad idea. So I made this one. If I want to be fast, I just uh, attach this to my vest and it hangs like this. So I can just grab this, grab the rocket launcher and push the cap inside this cap right here. And then I can just uh, take the rocket launcher and then I can take off the cap, let, it, let this burn when it's smoking I put it inside then then the safety goes off and I will shoot what I also can do with this is use this side when uh, this is still on my vest so it will not uh, otherwise it will not go inside but what this will do I can also use this to to push in the cap and this will also scratch the coating of smoke off. And that will be blown out when I shoot. So it will uh, keep itself more clean during the whole game. If you don't do this, then after a few shots, maybe five or so, uh, it will be already that bad with the coating that you cannot shoot anymore. So you really need to uh, scratch those, um, those smoke residue out. Yeah, still the cat somewhat. <laughs> Your rocket launch will smell afterwards really like the smoke. You can really smell that 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 powder and stuff on your rocket launcher. Don't wear uh, gloves. You don't mind getting uh, dirty with the smoke because it will get everywhere. It's, it's really uh, kind of a dirty uh, thing uh, to do. So keep that in mind. Uh, at first, what I did was. The cord with the cap, I used to uh, attach it this around uh, the neck of the, the air tank and then screw it in and that will make it uh, attached like this. But the problem is when you got the failure you need to remove the air tank and stuff like that. And the only failure you really get is with uh, the cord breaking or we, at least uh, around the cap. Or the cap will break, or the, the cap will fly way far with your smoke grenade, and you just have this left, and <laughs> that is it. 
So what I made later is, um, maybe you recognize this, this clip, I modify it a bit so it will go around this piece. So I will place the cap around uh, here and then of course the cord will be uh, in between that. So. When I got a failure, I only have to push this button. I can uh, take this, this cord out, place another one I like, or just in case of replacement. And close it again. Uh, it's a bit hard in this angle, but so. And then I got a new one. So that's uh, how I did that. And this this won't fill that this piece itself. It will work. At first I used different caps. They were all thinner, but uh, they were at their own already a good seal. These are from I don't know how to call it in English, but they are used in uh, the construction. Uh, uh, they, these are way stronger made, and um, but they are a little bit smaller. So I use electro tape, and then you just do it enough and then spit it. And you get a nice seal, so it makes this sound, but it's not too tight. But it will hold the air nice. That, that's a good way to go. But the only thing is still the way to attach this cord to to this cap is still a bit tricky. I used to think maybe it's good to, after a while, uh, to use a metal rod, with uh, because there's still that that thing it will push against uh, in between. So you can take this out, you put a rod in with the cord, and then this, and then because the air will push it, it will never go loose. But the problem was this would uh, put too, way too much stress on the front piece of plastic because the metal rock rod was yanking on it so it will crack so that was not uh, a good idea also the idea of using a shorter cord with an elastic part on it was not a good idea this could break after a few times it was nice because when you uh, was putting it inside you had less um, cord hanging so you could not get uh, entangled with it and stuff like that. But it still was not good. And to make this out of one piece and a little bit thicker, you could do it, but you can already see right here, and this one is not really used that much. It will uh, kind of it gets really hot this part because this is inside of the barrel, and the smoke will. Uh, also get inside but at the same time it's still hot the smoke at, at this stage and um, from so close by so I don't think the elastic will uh, handle that uh, that well so uh, I think I have to go back to the longer uh, cords just so there was longer to give it a little bit more space to slow down before it gets the, the yank from this piece from get back here you know what I mean? It will fly this way and then if we leave it too short it will go... This moment will be too much uh, force for this cap to handle. So that's why I leave it longer. The thing I used before was just make a lot of knots inside. And this is in a way still the best way. Because it lasts uh, pretty long. Then uh, if I would really... This one is never used. But if I would use this one, this would break pretty fast with a metal rod. Don't go that way. What you can do is push this one out with a piece of uh, metal or anything. Now you can see how I did this. This is not good. Especially this knot with uh, copper wire. It's way too soft. It will uh, push out and stuff like that. I also use a really uh, like a nail for metal. But the force will be too much. Because it will only press on this part, so it will eventually uh, break. 
A different way to do this is with this, this with the knot. And then you will uh, pull it through. And then you got the knots inside. And this, this is just a knot that's way too big to get it out. Only thing to keep in mind with this, after a while it will work its way out. And now you think, ah that's not possible, but it has happened because this one is uh, one without a cap, so it has happened with this one. Well, because after a time this will get a little bit more out and it works its way out. So you can, uh, so long you keep a little bit track of that, you can say, okay, I won't use this one anymore. Go to the to your base later and take the time to put it back in back in good order, and it will work because this will it will relieve the the stress a bit on the on the plastic cap and still hold up quite a long time. Uh, you only need to take uh, a little bit maintenance on it. So you, you take a look at it, push again against the knot so this cap will get out and I put it back in, in good order. Maybe take a few more knots on in it so it will uh, not happen again that fast. Uh, also you can see I played a little bit with uh, sizes because I think oh, this will hold more air but maybe it's better to put less air inside of this. I can't really say I've uh, figured out if one was better than the other. Not yet. Uh, maybe in the future when it's more perfect I can really say okay now I will use this one, now I will use this one. Will it make a difference? I don't know. Not, uh, not yet. Um, and what smoke grenades will fit inside of this? The, um, how is this one called? This one will work. I don't see the name but it's the one you twist the cap and use the strike head to uh, make it burn and then it will go inside. Because it's the same size as the, the wire pool. The wire pool works also great. You can, this one is a little bit easier to use because you got already got the, the grenade launcher on you. Uh, now you can use this finger to, to take the ring, you just push it like this. It's a little bit easier but still you can do this as well. Just just hold the cap, twist it and then make it burn and uh, throw it inside. I won't recommend the, the one who got two burning sides, the dual. I don't know, but you know what I mean I guess, it's one that you pull and it will burn on two sides because then you got smoke burning against this. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, you don't want to get the, the, the smoking side against the cap, you want to tap it uh, to, uh, towards the front. And the Enola 18 will not fit, it's way too big. That's, uh, that's not a way to go. I think I've uh, shown you everything I um, done with it and know about it. Maybe I forgot something but then I will make an update and if you got questions you can leave that in the comments below. But um, yeah it's, it's really fun to use but it's really expensive to use because of the shooting smoke grenades. The smoke grenades are not cheap. Uh, I'm not sponsored of any way so it's just all from my own pocket and it's really um, yeah it's fun to do and nice to see the reactions of everybody that uh, a lot of people at least like it. Maybe some don't. But it takes you away from the game. I know this a lot because it you can see there are a lot of steps you need to do them safely so you need to go with a checklist on safety on yes yes oh cap is the cap still in order yeah 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 and you, you of course you take a look uh, where you need to put the smoke grenade and stuff but once you have this in your hand you are like the smoke grenade support uh, the yeah the guy who puts smoke support somewhere and you're not shooting with your paint because you already have this and to put it back and uh, that's a lot of work and then afterwards it's like oh well the game will start for me and then it's already past um, the game is already a long time uh, started so it's kind of distracting for in the sense of the game 
but it, it's fun uh, to use. And um, oh, so I got me a, a stash of smoke grenades because these two are the last I have who could, uh, what I could fire with it. And that's not worth it. I don't take two smoke grenades and take this whole thing with me with all the equipment on, on the field just for two smoke grenades. So I need to get some more later. And then I will consider it again to bring it uh, with me. Otherwise, uh, I will just play uh, MacFed and uh, stuff like that.